I've seen the tool fast many times, um, the, the master cam dynamic milling tool pass in, in the menu a hundred times going through there to, to get to what I need to get to. Never really wanted to use them, never understood what they were or, or how they worked and then one day I, I, I've seen a gentleman that I work with using them, really liked the idea, got, got involved in how it works and, and, and how it can apply to what I was working on and, and quite honestly I would never want to be without it again. My name is Robert Fagelman and uh, I'm a CNC programmer and I work at Exceed Molding Tool. When we first started using the dynamic milling tool pass, we were going to try it on a, on a piece of hardened H13. Um, I think it was like 50 to 52 Rockwell. Uh, we threw it in one of the Makinos that we have and we were kind of laughing because we didn't really think it was going to work. But we were going to give it a shot and see, see how we could make out because we really needed to get the job done. So we, we put it in there started milling away and it, it just kind of cut right through, um, had no problems whatsoever and you know it kind of kind of brought the naysayers to their knees because it, it was it was pretty uh, it was pretty awesome. The biggest benefit of dynamic motion is tool life and, and speed of cutting and the ease that the, the tool path puts on the machine. So for example um, we had a frame plate that we had to do and it had a lot of pocket work in it. And originally I was gonna go with um, insert cutters. Um, and I probably had six insert cutters in, in the program. And then I turned around and used the dynamic milling and I got it down to about two cutters and about half the time that it would have taken with the insert cutter. I, I should have been using these right from the beginning and I, I definitely would not wanna be without them. It has changed my world and it makes all the difference.